All right, let's talk about mass email. Okay, sorry guys, the group edition folks, you can't watch this. Well, I mean, you could watch it, but uh, it's not going to be very helpful for you since it, the mass email is not available on the group edition. Okay, so for those of you that have professional or above, you have the capability of sending mass emails. You can send up to 500 emails per day uh, based on the user. And really, it's just you filter a list in leads or contacts. You filter the list. Secondly, you select the template that you want to use and merge. And third, you send it. That, that's simple. So let's go through it. Uh, let's hop to it and get through the steps. So in Salesforce, I'm at the Leads tab right now. Under Tools, you'll have Mass Email Leads. In Contacts, you have the same link. It's just in Contacts, Mass Email Contacts. It does the exact same thing. It's just these are leads. Those are contacts. And the reason they're not in accounts is because emails are associated with people and leads and contacts are people. An account is a thing. It's a company. So anyways, um, okay, so first you need to create your list. So if we go to mass email leads, there's only a few leads in here. Let's say we build a list called warm and hot. This is, uh, it's very similar and you'll see when I go to the next stage, it looks just like the list view. So you can search I Learn uh, CRM for list view and you'll see how to create the list views, but it's basically a few steps in that. You name it, you create a, a filter of what you want to select, and then lastly is what columns do you want to see. So you'll see that here. So we already pre-created, pre-created if that's a word, um, we already s created a warm and hot. Let's edit that and you'll see step one, enter the name for the list. Two, specify the filter criteria. Currently we have rating equals hot. Let's add warm to it as well. Okay, and then the columns that you want to see. Lastly, if you are the only person to see it or if you want all users to see it, let's save that list. So that's our list. We've got three people here that are hot and warm status we've got the list now if you go next you'll see you're looking for, it's looking for a template we have to have a template in the system if you don't have html templates and you haven't done them before html email templates then again look at uh, i learn crm search for html or just the word email and you should find a video there or a couple videos that talk about how to set up your html emails you basically go into setup under administer communication templates email templates and that's where you create your new templates. So in the, for the sake of time, let's head back to leads. Let's head back to that list. Let's see, uh, mass email leads. We got the warm and hot list. There's the three. Click next. We'll select that new amazing product email template. Next. You can BC yourself on it just to see that it went out. And you can store an activity for each message, meaning that each person that you're sending it to, they'll have a, an activity history that will record the fact that the email was sent. And so let's put today test. You can send it now or you can schedule it for another time. And we're going to send. Three people are going to get the message, even though everybody has the same email address, so we're going to get it three times in our email system. So if we go back, you'll see here, here's the three emails. Hello Scooby, hello Clark, and hello Pete. And if I go back into Salesforce, let's say we pick Pete Rose. We go into their record activity history, you'll see the mass email was sent. You'll also see in the HTML email status that it was actually opened. So sent, opened, how many times opened, last opened. And that's it, simple as that. That's how you mass email. Mass email leads, contacts, under tools, mass email contacts. Looks exactly the same. Hope that helps. Good selling.